Edward Hopper's Nighthawks from 1942. Staring at this empty street, there is a feeling of calm and quiet, although there is a level of unseen tension. This comes from the understanding of separation of the people inside this diner, reflecting wartime sediments. Once you take a closer look, you see how close all these people are, yet they don't quite connect. The woman and the man's hands don't quite touch, or the waiter does not interact with the smoking man in the way that they could. It is a series of near misses, creating the tension that pulls you into the diner. It pulls you in, and yet you can't enter. You are left to watch from the outside and simply observe these people, creating even more isolation in the work. Oh my god, wait a second. Are you guys doing a documentary on this painting? Because I recognize it from one of my daughter's favorite TV shows, The Simpsons. Hello, miss. We are, we are actually doing a segment on, on this painting known as Nighthawks by Edward Hopper. This painting has actually become so popularized in the art world that it has even made its debut in, a, in the show, such as The Simpsons. I would love to know more about this painting. Go on. Hopper's wife wrote that she and Hopper often appeared in his paintings. So, are they in this one? Well, yes. The red-haired woman is stylized after Hopper's wife. Well, that is true. That is the end of such literalism. As the abstracted lines and planes create a feeling of, dif- of a different reality that is set in time. Due to its amazing timelessness, upon its completion, this painting was immediately recognized for its greatness when it was bought by the Art Institute of Chicago, where it remains to this day. But why is it still so loved by people there if it's been there for so long? Its continuing popularity can be explained by its ability to draw Americans back to, the, to a simpler time, something many yearn for. The dress of all four characters, especially the woman in red who appears like a pinup doll, and the Phillies advertisement makes it seem like it is truly a piece from 20th century America. This is even true of a smaller detail such as the straws in the coffee urns or the cigarette ad above the diner. Yes, all of this reminds people of how real this was and helps draw them back to what, to that feeling today. Returning to the isolated feeling from this painting, the light expresses it with the contrast of the diner to the outside. The bright light inside just barely streams into the outside. Even the windows to the other building remain dark, reminding people of the isolation and loss from the war, as the painting has often been considered to have anti-World War II sentiments. This can be seen in the literal emptiness caused by those, all those fighting, and just the sense of the loneliness of the Americans in their fight. Another conflict is found between the people and their surroundings. The patrons appear to be living their lives, not by any given rules, but all around their, them there is the strict geometry, such as the flat counter the couple leans on, or the geometric coffee cups, and even the rectangular window that lets us see into this moment in time. Thank you, I learned so much. Continuing on the environment of this painting, Hopper himself said that the scene was inspired by a restaurant on New York's Greenwich Avenue, where two streets meet. But the actual details are so unspecific that it could be anywhere the viewer sees it as. That being said, it is still very specific, coming down to the seats of the chairs and every tiny detail in the machinery in the shop. This creates a kind of paradox, as it makes this diner feel like it is nowhere, even though it is clearly real and must exist in some capacity. This is really the continued feeling that viewers get today, along with the feeling of isolation, which has been reduced since it does not apply to a major global conflict anymore. It leaves you thinking of your own personal past, trying to figure out exactly what place that is modeled after, as every viewer has a place their mind goes to with it, but you can never find it, as there is not enough information to truly place it, allowing you to get lost in your own thoughts and reflections. And even especially your personal relationships, bringing the smaller, more literal isolation seen in this painting back around to the viewer.